Stainsby Mill is a 19th century flour mill powered by water. Join us now as we explore this historic mill and share its history. Through the mill we see today is from the Victorian period. A mill has been on the site since the 13th century, but even those records state of an already functioning mill. Though, there is no mention of a mill at this site in the Doomsday Book of 1086, so it is easy to conclude that the original mill was built sometime between 1086 and 1250. Bess of Hardwick purchased the mill in 1593, incorporating it into the Hardwick estate, where it produced flour for the Devonshire family until 1952. The mill gradually fell into disrepair and was completely rebuilt by the 6th Duke of Devonshire between 1849 and 1850. The rebuild saw wooden machinery like the wheel replaced by cast and wrought iron. The rebuild cost around £1,000 at the time, which today is equivalent to around £200,000. Its unusual design was intended to provide maximum power for the limited amount of water which flows from the Stainsbury Brook. It was the sixth duke who imported a French birthstone which could grind grain to a light flour for high quality baked goods, something which would impress his guests. With the death of the 10th Duke of Devonshire in 1950, the mill was passed to the government in lieu of death duties. In 1976, the National Trust carried out a partial restoration and undertook a full restoration in 1991 and opened it to the public the following year. Though the mill is small, it is no less interesting than the wider estate of Hardwick. Its well restored state transports you back to the world of a Victorian miller. Your visit will be guided by a National Trust volunteer who will be very knowledgeable about the mill and its history. Stainsbury Mill is a must visit, especially when visiting Hardwick Hall. To help the channel, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, goodbye.